pressurized telephone cable is used throughout the world. A positive internal air pressure keeps water out of the cable. Air leaks lower the internal pressure and can allow water into the cable. Repairing leaks in pressurized cable is important to keep the cable working properly. Hot lead wiping, wrap-around tape, or shrink sleeves have been used to repair pressure leaks in cable. However, these methods have limitations. This video shows a new repair system that seals leaks with a tough, quick-curing sealant resin. The air repair sealant can be applied almost anywhere, including tight crevices and complex shape areas. No torches or hot molten lead are required. American Polywater is pleased to present Air Repair, a revolutionary leak repair system for pressurized cable. American Polywater has been manufacturing specialty chemicals used in telephone construction for over 25 years. Polywater products are used throughout the world for cable pulling, cable blowing, and cable cleaning. And Polywater has developed a number of special purpose products. The ice-free gel you see here protects fiber optic cables from ice crushing damage. American Polywater is known for its broad line of high quality outside plant chemical products. Polywater's leak repair system comes in a kit with the air repair sealant and other materials needed to properly repair the cable. A typical kit would include the two-part paste, cleaning wipes, abrasive cloth, mixing sticks, application tools, and protective gloves. Other options are available depending on intended use. Preparation is critical for a successful leak seal. Pump all standing water from the manhole. Follow your company's established safety procedures for manhole preparation and entry. When you have identified the general area of the leak, coat the area with a pressure testing soap solution. Use the bubbling to find hidden leaks and to determine the exact location and extent of the damage. This is important because you will want to extend the resin sealant beyond the leak area for an effective patch. After isolating the leak, clean and dry the area thoroughly with a rag. To prepare lead sheath for repair, scrub the surface with a carding brush until shiny, or use a shave hook to remove the dark oxide from the surface. It is important to completely remove all contaminants from the lead. Clean the lead at least one inch, two and a half centimeters, beyond the damage. If the leak is on a seam or joint, clean and repair beyond the leak along the length of the seam or joint. Otherwise, the leak may jump beyond the repair patch. For plastic and polyethylene covered cables and accessories, use 80 grit abrasive cloth to roughen the surface. Sand against the grain of the cable. Thoroughly roughen the surface for optimal adhesion of the air repair sealant. Abrade the cable surface at least one inch, two and a half centimeters, beyond the edge of the damage. Once the lead or plastic surface has been abraded, thoroughly wipe the abraded area with a TR1 cleaning and preparation towel. This solvent cleaner will remove stubborn contaminants and displace remaining water. The cleaner dries very quickly. Temporarily eliminate air pressure in the leak area. However, do not bleed sections of the cable that are underwater. Pressure can usually be released by opening the local valve. Once the area is prepared and the pressure is released, the air repair sealant can be mixed and applied. Air repair sealant comes in pre-measured cups to ensure the proper resin ratio. The mixing cups are well labeled as Part A and Part B. Part A is a black paste resin. Part B is an off-white paste curing agent. This is a fast cure system and parts A and B must be combined, mixed and applied quickly. The uncured resins can irritate the skin of some individuals, and rubber gloves are provided. Scrape the complete contents of the Air Repair Part B curing agent into the Part A resin container cup. Fold in and mix with a mixing stick for about a minute until the paste is well blended and the color is uniform. Be sure to scrape all sides of the cup. Mix until there are no streaks of black or white. Mix vigorously. The two-part resin will harden quickly. As soon as the paste is mixed, apply to the leak. The sealant should be applied generously to a thickness of 3 8 inch or 1 centimeter. It should extend 1 inch, 2 and a half centimeters, beyond the edge of the damage. Do not apply paste beyond prepared area. Doing so may create a weak bond point. Several flexible tools are available to help with the application. 
Here, the trowel tool is used to spread the paste over the entire leak area. The tapered point can fit into tight crevices. Smooth the repair and taper the edge of the seal. This will give the repair a nice appearance and will prevent areas that can catch and tear. The tool or a gloved finger can be used to smooth the edge. It is also possible to wrap the repair with tape. Mixing and application should be done in about three minutes. Air repair sealant will harden in five to ten minutes. Cure time is dependent on the air temperature. At 70 degrees Fahrenheit, 21 degrees Celsius, the sealant will cure in about ten minutes. At warmer temperatures, the sealant will react quickly and may cure in less than five minutes. At temperatures closer to freezing, the sealant may take as long as 40 minutes to cure. This means you may have to apply the sealant more quickly in warmer temperatures. Conversely, you may have to wait longer for repressurization in colder temperatures. After initial cure, the surface will be hard and will not show a finger indentation when touched. At this time, the seal will hold more than 10 psi, 700 millibar, so the air pressure can be restored. Air repair plastic primer is required for polyethylene jacketed cables and some other plastics. Do not use the primer on PVC compounds or metals. To use the air repair primer, prepare the polyethylene surface as demonstrated earlier. Apply primer to the entire area of the leak with a brush or swab. The primer will dry in two minutes or less. The air repair sealant should be applied within an hour. Mix the air repair sealant as described earlier. Once it is well mixed and has reached a uniform color, apply the paste to the area of damage, covering the entire primed area. The air repair sealant should be applied to a thickness of 3 8 inch, 1 centimeter. Smooth and taper the sealant. Do not extend the air repair sealant to an unprimed surface. The sealant may separate from an unprimed surface. The air repair putty stick can be used to repair large gaps and crevices or as a temporary plug if local air pressure cannot be released. The putty comes in a clay stick with an activator core. To use the air repair putty stick, cut off a portion based on quantity needed, typically about one inch, two and a half centimeters. Remove the plastic wrap and knead by hand for approximately two minutes. The exact timing will depend on the ambient temperature. The putty should be mixed to a uniform color. It will become tougher to knead as it begins to cure. The putty is a fast curing material, so it must be mixed and applied quickly. To fill a gap, after the putty is mixed, press it into the hole and mold material as desired. Note that the surface must be cleaned and abraded beyond the putty patch area. Plugging a pressurized hole or leak requires precise timing and practice. The plugging process will work best on small, clean punctures or cracks. Air pressure should be released if at all possible. To plug a leaking hole, press the putty firmly into the leak and hold securely in place for three to four minutes as the putty cures. If pressure on the putty is released too quickly, the partially reacted putty will not develop full adhesion and the pressurized air will blow under the plug. If attempts to reattach the putty fail, it must be discarded and the process repeated. The putty does not have the adhesion or durability of the air repair paste. All putty seals must be covered with the air repair paste to reinforce the repair. The air repair paste has good adhesion to the putty patch. No additional surface preparation is necessary if the sealant is applied as soon as the putty has hardened. Spread paste over the putty and at least one half inch, just over a centimeter, beyond the putty's edge. Apply air repair paste to a depth of three eighths inch, one centimeter, and smooth the repair. Taper the edge of the seal as shown and allow to cure. The air repair system can be used to seal a variety of pressurized components, such as valve stems, end plates, and load coils. The process is straightforward. Locate the leak using pressure testing soap solution. Properly prepare the surface. A braid and clean surface with a solvent wipe. Mix and apply the unreacted paste in about a two to three minute period. The sealant hardens and cures in five to 15 minutes. 
At this time, it will hold over 10 PSI, 700 millibar pressure. Check the repair with a soap solution. If the cable has been moved from its normal position for the repair, it should be re-racked to its permanent position immediately after testing. American Polywater has done extensive testing of the air repair sealant's adhesion and environmental resistance. Detailed technical data and laboratory reports are available through your Polywater representative. If you have questions on adhesion to a particular material, or if you would like an applications kit designed for your situation, please contact American Polywater directly at the address shown. Remember, stop leaks in pressurized cable with American Polywater's Air Repair Leak Repair System.